Right, we're making the new cookie dough recipe that's been out the last couple of weeks that Ed put out. And I just want to have a go. Now I'll put sprinkles in this. So this is how I'm going to try two or three different ways just to see how good they are. I'd say that's about the correct thickness. Now these are going to be about 70 grams. So I'm going to try different ways of putting them on the trays just to see how they all compare. Uh, doing this method I think is the quickest way and what I'm going to do I'll put a few sprinkles on then the children that's got allergies apart from the gluten can eat these because the chocolate drops they can't the next way I'm using one of these now you will get a 70 gram portion out of one but I find if you tap them out like that it works without without breaking up so what I'm going to do I'm going to squash half of them down and I'm going to leave off and see how, see how well they spread. I'll put sprinkles on them again. I'll put a little bit of sprinkles in the mix, but I think mainly on the top. There we go. quite sure so um, that one's quite soft but okay I'm not going to spoil that one but that one is so much better so I think if you just slightly undercook it you're going to get a more chewy one um, these here these what I did with the ice cream scoop I did six the ice cream scoop and flattened it and six just put them straight on and put them in the oven without flattening it to see how they compare in shape so I think that one works better than the one that's slightly flattened overall I think the best way to roll it out is quicker but the shape I prefer the shape of that one with that but I will be going with that one I think just for speed for speed if there's something extra special I'd probably go with that one 